Recently, some reports have had suggested that peoples are struggling while unlocking the phone via Face ID, as their half of the face is covered with the mask. And we all know how much the mask is crucial for everyone during the coronavirus epidemic. Therefore, well known for wearable gadgets Chinese tech company Huami has declared that they are working on the special kind of mask that would be able to unlock the Face ID, even with a mask. Click on the bell icon to get the latest tech updates. And, join us on Tech Shouters to know more about all the new happenings in the tech world. Coronavirus outburst is rapidly spreading all over the world, and the vaccine for this has yet not discovered. To stop the spread of deadly virus many preventive measures like the mask, social distancing, sanitizing frequently, and so forth are the only way to overcome this. Recently, many reports had suggested that users are facing problems while unlocking the phone via Face ID because of masks. Hence, a Chinese well-known tech organization Huami is working on designing the special N95 mask with the latest technology algorithms that would be capable to unlock the phone via Face ID, even with a mask. Many governments, organizations made masks compulsory all the time. Moreover, US airlines have declared that they will make masks mandatory on the flights, airport. For the new form, masks are very essential for everyone that will keep us secure all the time. Peoples are using normal clothing masks, as there is a lack of N95 masks. However, these masks can help people, but also have many drawbacks like a problem, while unlocking phones via face id, need regular washing, incapable to filter tiny air particles, and many more. Therefore, Huami takes all the responsibility of this and designed a mask fit airy masks to resolve all these problems. The company is still working on it and release it as soon as possible. As per the survey, 700 million peoples are constantly seeing and sharing GIF every day. And most of the responses on GIF content are coming from some popular apps TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter and so many. Now, the overall functioning of Giphy like sending and receiving on the internet will be changed completely forever, as Facebook is acquiring Giphy. Many of the companies who use Giphy regularly may not be able to use them as they have been using it. It's like that these services didn't want to work on a Facebook named platform. They don't want to be dependent on such major competitors like Facebook because they have been facing many issues consisting of privacy and cyberbullying. Facebook announced that developers will still be able to use Giphy as before the acquisition, and it appears that you can still be able to use GIFs as you can use earlier before the acquisition. People will still be able to upload GIFs. Authorized people like developers and API partners will have access to Giphy's API. It is important to keep in mind that there are no tracking bots, cookies, or anything else. This does not have any user tracking mechanism which can affect its users' privacy in an adverse way. The Giphy API can see your search item, but it can't see your data. There can be a chance that Facebook could change the working process of Giphy as time passes. And apps or services that are using by Giphy now could drop support of those services at any moment in nearby time. These apps have been using Giphy's service for a long time, TikTok, Tinder, Trello, Snapchat, Mailchimp, Telegram, Slack, etc. So these were some big updates from some of the well-known tech giants. For more such updates, stay tuned with Tech Shouters.